So, uh, well, Craig is keeping his eye on the refurb store. And guess what? He sent us an email and he found a Mac Studio is now in the refurb store. Now, when he found it, which was on July 1st, there was one model. I okay. When I went there last night, there are now 10 models Ooh. of the Mac Studio. Very nice. I'm looking. Yeah, some for under $2,000. So, yeah. okay. I'm looking now, and we're recording this on Friday, July 8th, if that matters to anyone. And uh, there are, yeah, it looks like six, seven, eight models, mm -hmm. starting with the, for $1,799, 10-core uh, CPU, 24-core GPU, and how much RAM? Five, uh, 32 gigs of memory, 512 gig SSD. So you get the interleaved SSD. There, there is an issue with the M2 chips when you have just the 256 gig SSD. You don't get quite the speed there because it's not interleaved, but 512 and higher, right. you get that. We were talking about that. If you joined our pre-show chat at macgeekgab.com slash discord, then uh then you would you would have you would have been part of that. But we like to surface these things and share. So just in case that's one of your five things to learn. So mm -hmm. there you go. It was it was one of mine. I I that's that I learned this morning. So yeah. Right. Yeah, not bad. $17.99. So and the good it, news is yes. there are third party services that will do this for you. And I just looked at refurb-tracker.com. And they have the Mac Studio on their list now, so they're uh, great. So they're with the program. Yeah, Refurb Tracker is one of my favorite tools to use because you can get really specific. Like you could say, okay, I want a Mac Studio, and you start looking at, you know, okay, I want five twelve, and uh, you know, or maybe I want one terabyte, and I want you know sixty four gigs, and it like in real time lets you kind of see what your filters would show you. And then you're like, yeah, okay, great. And it'll even show you if what you've just typed in is in stock. And then it starts to get really fun. But you could say, okay, you know, I want a 10 core mm -hmm. CPU and all right, there's no matching product. So what have I done wrong? Okay, I need to look this way. And you know, you'll, you'll find your, you'll find your home. Yeah, I like that feature because Typically, if I just hop into the refurb store and you look at the configurations, it's like, oh, that's why it's in there. Because, you know, like, like I find that they have, like the SSD is like way too small for, for my needs. So I'm like, nope, skip that. Yeah, yeah. No, and it's great. And then you can subscribe to that once you customize your alert and it will email you when that appears in the, the refurb store. And the refurb store app, we're talking about Apple's refurb store here. The refurb store is updated essentially in real time it throughout the day stock comes and goes so it is it is absolutely worth using something like refurb tracker we needed to get a new mac for uh, jeff q here at backbeat media and we decided that an m1 mini was absolutely the right mac for him but we wanted to make sure it had the most RAM it could have and a, you know, a, a, a big SSD so that it would future proof because he's someone that keeps his computers for a, a fairly long time. And uh, and it took us a couple of weeks for that to appear in the store. In fact, it, I started to wonder, wait, are they, you know, getting rid of the Mac mini? Uh, this, this, uh, this actually started before WWDC, but then eventually, no, it resurfaced and, and he was able to grab one and now he's using it. So, yeah, it's good. 